Hey everyone, this is the Caffeinated Nerdy Geek. I know it's been a pain and it's been a really long time, but <laughs> and I really hate making these excuses over and over and over, but a lot of things have been happening. First off, we did get a Fallout Loot Crate. Yes, I did film it. Yes, I'm trying to upload it onto the computer, <laughs> but for some reason it's not uploading properly. So I'm trying to work on that as we speak, and, um, like, it's, the video is just really slow and loading. And it was another collaboration with my brother, Cordier Mark, but, um, continuing on the, um, Loot Crate box thing, my sister and I had been talking and I've decided to cancel the mystery box subscription. Now before you get mad at me, there's a reason. First off, the crates that we've been getting lately don't really have anything of our interests. Like um, recently it was Deadpool, then it was um, Predator and um, movies and stuff that we've heard about but we just don't watch because, like, I don't really do well with gory movies. Which is saying something because I watch Lord of the Rings for crying out loud. So I'll leave that up to you. Um, plus, it was like, quite a few of the crates that we got, we would only get like one or two items that we liked out of it. And even then it was kind of a stretch. So um, we decided to cancel that. And we're trying out, like, I subscribed earlier to another crate, still in Loot Crate, but it's not the mystery box. It's an actually themed box. So where Cordier Mark has the Fallout one, I subscribe to another one. Um, now this subscription, I'm going to give you some hints, but I won't tell you what it is. It is based on something that has come out or will be coming out next month in November to be exact so whenever you watch it or watch this we will be getting a crate I believe around November I believe if not probably December but it will be coming kinda soon it's a pay by the month or pay you pay for every month but the crate skips a month so, say, where I ordered it in October, I'm expecting the box to come here in November. And I'll be paying the bill in December and getting it in, like, January. So it will be a skipping thing. But I only, yeah, <clears throat> excuse me, I only have one month of that theme. Because there was another theme that came out. In fact, I think it came out just yesterday. I'm pretty sure. So, that theme, it is a little more expensive. Like, just a little bit more than this previous theme. That, the mystery theme that I'm telling you guys. This current box was around $64. So, it's certainly a bit of a stretch. But... I'm going to be paying it in collaboration with other members of my family who are into this theme as well. So it's not, we're not canceling the whole idea of the Loot Crate unboxings. We just are trying to figure out a box that would be suitable for us that would not be so random. Like, um... Like, we, not a whole lot of my family members are actually into things like Predator and stuff. A lot of us are into things like Pride and Prejudice, or there's a TV, uh, I believe it was a TV series, it's called Horatio Hornblower. I have a brother who's into that. We have family members into Halo, we have family members into all sorts of things. Pokemon, you know, so we have a wide stretch. But when it came to the mystery crates, there was Deadpool, 
which none of us really care for because we're more into the Avengers than Deadpool. And yes, Deadpool is an Avenger-ish person. He's in the Marvel Universe. I know that, but bear with me. I grew up in a house where if I had that foul of a mouth, I'd be eating soap for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So don't, don't you scream at me about language because I deal with it every day and I hate it. But, I mean, seriously, can't we use, like, movie quotes or something? Like, I don't know, just something different besides cursing everyone to their faces? Anywho, enough of my ranting. Um, so then there was, let's see, Predator. I haven't seen it. I'm kind of interested in watching it, but I just don't really get the whole idea. Um... We did have some stuff from Alien, which I'm kind of familiar with, like the face huggers and stuff. Like, I have a face hugger pin, so I do know what that is. And my dad has seen Alien, so he said it was pretty decent. I just haven't had the time to watch it. Then we had stuff from Harley Quinn, The X Files. We had stuff from, like, all sorts of other genres. But none of them really were of interest, really. It was. Not saying that we were bored of it. I mean, there's been a lot of good things coming out of the crate. Like, they're really good quality and stuff, but just not stuff that we were interested in. That being said, the crate that we have just bought the subscription to, I don't know if I said I'll keep it a mystery, but I'll just tell you anyway. Because, um... Excuse me, Niavi's yelling at me. Um... So, <clears throat> this latest crate, the one that just came out, is Loot Crate's Lord of the Rings. Hence why I was so eager to get it, because, okay, number one, all my siblings and I are into it. Or at least 80%, 85% of my siblings and I are into it. <clears throat> so the oldest brother, down to the youngest. Like, all seven of us. So... <clears throat> I thought that that would be a good crate because if there was something I didn't want in it, I know someone else who might enjoy it. Like my sister, for instance. She is a fantasy nerd geek. She is, she has gone into depths of languages. She's studied Tolkien. She's actually had some of his books, not necessarily the Lord of the Rings ones, but ones that he's actually translated from their original language such as, I'm trying to remember the name, but she gets super excited that my mom got her a Tolkien book for like 50 cents. Mind blown. Um, my second oldest brother, he's into maps, castles, swords, weaponry, like medieval, anything medieval. He's into. So if there's anything like that in the crate, I know where to get some that. The... Um, youngest, he's into a lot of the, um, he's a hobbit. I used to call him the hobbit because he was, emphasis on was, he was smaller than me, he was cuter, and he definitely had a personality of a hobbit. So, <laughs> it's, I, I personally think that this loot crate is going to be a big win in my family. Plus, it's medieval. <laughs> Where can you go wrong with the medieval era stuff? But I'm expecting a really good quality for how much more expensive it is. Because even though it is $64 to ship it up here, like shipping was like $10 more just because I live in New York. <laughs> um, but yeah, so the Lord of the Rings crate is the one that will probably come in March. March, March. <laughs> so I'm going, like, I am planning on being super excited. I already am excited. And that's why I, I am willing to wait, like, November, December, January, February, at least those four months for that crate because I have big, big hopes and expectations for it. And, um... Yeah, so I'll leave you guys to guess what the mystery crate between now and then is. So, 
and remember, it's only one month because it would come every two months. So it should be coming next month, I believe. Either next month or December. So I'll leave you guys plenty of time to comment down below what you think the theme is. If it's not the Lord of the Rings crate, because that one's in March, what kind of crate do you think I got? And granted, granted it's not a whole lot of um, interest in my family. That being said, there are a lot of things that my family and I don't really... Well, we don't share as much interest in it as Lord of the Rings, let's just say. There is the anime crate, Halo, JK's Wizarding World, The Avengers, Lord of the Rings, um, Lootware, and there's a bunch of other crates. So, which one do you think I got for my family and I? Or probably even me. Who knows? I could have splurged all on myself. Alright. So, I'll leave it there, guys. Leave you wondering, guessing, trying to figure it out. Oh, quick note. I also am in the process of trying to narrow down some costumes for work. Because my work has allowed that I can dress up and go to work in costume. I've narrowed it down to three or four. And I am planning on videoing, like, excuse me, videoing is not a word, filming the four different costumes, like, piece by piece, explain where I got it, and how I'm going to wear it, or some ideas I have with it. Um, and possibly I might even film the construction of the costume, like, working on all the pieces and showing you what it looks like. So those videos will be coming up soon. But until then, stay caffeinated and try to keep warm because it's freezing out there. <laughs> it was 70, like in the low 70s last week, and now it's down to like the low 40s. Yeah, so. Alright, stay caffeinated, stay safe, stay warm, stay nerdy. <laughs> Bye.